Hello and welcome to Yard Sale Sundays, where every Sunday in the summer I show you everything I found that week at yard sales and moving sales and estate sales. So if you like this kind of content, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel and I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed thus far. I hit 1,000 subscribers this week, so thank you very much. That was super exciting. I'm going to do a giveaway sometime this week. So I'd love to have you subscribe and you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. This week I went to several yard sales. It was a good week. I also had a little extra money in my budget because of Mother's Day. So that was super fun. Okay, so I'm going to start with the practical things because those are the least fun, but still useful. Happy to have them. I'll insert a picture of one larger item I got here. Okay, so that trash can I'm going to use next to my potting shed for all of my potting soil. And I think I'm gonna put something like, make a sign for it that says like dirt or something. I don't know, it'll be cute. Anyway, so that's that, that was $5. Then I also got this, um, this is actually gonna be for outdoors, but it has a several practical things in it, so I'll just show it to you now. I think it's the top of like a pot where you like could strain your pasta, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe it was a maybe it was a rice cooker. I don't really know. Maybe one of you knows. If you know, let me know. And then I needed this because if you watched my look for less, I made myself a new sign. Um, but the frame that I put it in doesn't have like one of those sawtooth kind of hanger things on the back. Uh, so I was going to go to the hardware store and get one of these today and then I didn't have to go to the hardware store. So, and this one's cool because it comes with like a little mini level. I thought that was cute. Okay. And you know what? I bought myself a wind chime. Actually, that's wrong. I got from a free pile, a wind chime, which I'll show you a picture of here. Here is my free wind chime. It says made in the Philippines. That's super cute, but it's making a ton of noise. So I'm going to take it down and then I'll put it up again later. Okay, take that down, right. Okay, so that was $2. And then I got these knobs because we're going to be redoing our master bedroom. Uh, nope, our master bathroom. And these are just knobs. Our current vanity, we're keeping it, but it doesn't have any knobs on it. And I may keep them silver or I might spray paint them with like that um, oiled rub bronze. I haven't, I haven't decided yet so anyway they're only 25 cents a piece so that was a good deal these were 50 cents each I got them because my children boys and girls are always fighting over belts so I thought this one's a bigger one so maybe this will fit my son he likes the woven belt I don't know they're back in style now and this one too so I'm gonna offer them to him first and if he doesn't want them maybe my daughter because they, they fight even though they have small like the girls have smaller waists but they fight over belts anyway so these were only 50 cents and they're both leather they're marked as genuine leather so that was a good deal for the kids these are for our garage they were 50 cents they're like the hooks that you can screw into things and hang stuff from the ceiling and then I got these these were 25 cents I like to keep these, they, they're called single robe hooks, but I use them in craft projects and signs and other things that I do. So I probably won't use them for robes, but I'll put them in my craft bin. So whenever I find things like that, I just pick them up when they're really cheap because I know I might need them someday and then I'd have to go out and buy them for more money. So better to just pick them up when can. I also got this. It was this whole box. Now, most of these things, you actually might recognize several of them. I know they came from Dollar Tree. But that's fine because it's actually, well, especially these, these are a dollar each and I use this kind of ribbon all the time. So that, it came with three of those and three Eastery look, oh, four Eastery looking ones and then some like different color burlap ribbons and some twine, like some aqua twine and some floral tape and some yarn cotton yarn so I can make dishcloths. I crochet dishcloths. That's the only thing I know how to crochet. <laughs> so, but they're really useful. So I could make them some of those out of that. So it was these and then two of these wreath forms and this stuff for $3. And so I know just in the ribbon alone, I got my money's worth. So, oh, and it has a little pinwheel too. Oh, that's cute. I didn't even see that before. It's adorable. I'll probably put that in a pot. So I might just stick it right there. And then it's a little a little bit of cheer in my flower pot. So that was $3, so that was a good find. Ooh, and I don't wanna dump it. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess. All right, so I think that is 
all for the practical items. When I say practical, it's like practical things that aren't super fun, but stuff you like need to pick up. Kind of things. Okay. Someone made a lamp out of a mason jar. I thought this was adorable and I collect these blue mason jars. I actually don't even know. If I say I collect them. I don't really collect them because I don't know anything about them. But when I find one that I like, I buy it. Whether or not it's real, it doesn't really matter to me. I just buy the ones I like for cheap. And this is a lamp, it works. I tested it. I'm gonna clean this up and use this in my kitchen near my collection of blue mason jars. And that was $5. That was a big ticket item for today. That and the garbage can, the garbage can were, I think, the most expensive things today. I got a few Christmas items. Oh, well, I live in Minnesota and it is Scandinavian land and they are very proud of their culture. And it's a huge Lutheran population here too. And so they have like church dinners and you know, the church ladies, like you hear stories about the church, that they live here in Minnesota. And so every time I go to like a sale and I find like a little recipe book from maybe one of their churches, I try to buy it. So this one is from Christ Lutheran Church in Maple Plain. And it's just a collection of their, the ladies from the church recipes. And it's all Scandinavian. It's called Scandinavian Recipes for the Holidays and Every Day. And I like the picture on it. It looks old, I'm sure it isn't, but it just looks, you know, I don't know. And it's cute. I'm going to sit it in a display for Christmas time and then I can also use it. There's some cool recipes in here and that's for Christmas time. I'll set it out at Christmas time. Please don't park. Please don't park. Big trucks. Big trucks. I don't want them to park near my house because that will make noise and you won't be able to hear me. For Christmas I also got this. I collect little sleds. Ceramic sleds. I don't collect a ton of them. They have to be special and I really like this one. It's like holly and it was only 25 cents. So that was a good deal. Oh dear, the truck is now backing up. Oh boy, let's hope that stops. Okay, it stopped, let's keep going. Okay, and then I got this, it's a little vintage deer. It was a dollar, I'm pretty sure I have a Santa boot that looks like this. It's like the, I don't know, like the velveteen. I don't even know what to call this, but I know I had these as a kid and it reminds me of my childhood. And so I got that, that was a dollar. And I just thought the deer was so sweet. I think I have a thing for deer, just really sweet. So anyway, that was a buck for Christmas time as well. Now we'll go on to decorative items. Heartland Thrifter, Robin Johnson. If you watch this, you're gonna be so proud of me because I bought two pieces of milk glass, which I don't usually buy milk glass, but these were really cheap. This one was 25 cents. And this one was 75 cents. I don't know if they're real milk glass or not, but I thought they were pretty and they would look nice on my shelves. Um, so there you go. Two pieces of milk glass or faux milk glass, white glass, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. I got two of them and I really liked them and they were cheap. I also got a basket, which I'm probably going to use outside. I need to seal it up. It's very cool. It's kind of old looking and it's just green. I just really liked it because it was already painted and I love this color green. This was $5 too. This was like a bonus buy for Mother's Day. So it's a hat box and it's from the 1960s. I talked to the lady who I got it from and it was her mom's. And yeah, she used to keep a wig in it and her favorite hat. Okay. And I'm gonna use it in my family room, probably to store some of my craft things. These kinds of things work really well for me because I can store things in them, but then I don't have to really see the stuff that's inside. Oh, I love this. This was from the same sale. So the same lady that the hat box belonged to, she got this on her 25th wedding anniversary. So it was the mother of this person I was buying the things from. Her mom is 90 now. And so she got this, she and her husband got this um, for their 25th wedding anniversary. And it's Reed and Barton finest silver plate. And I looked it up, I think it does have value. Um, and it's got the little like flower frog in it, which I thought was cool because you know I told you a few videos back I'm gonna start collecting flower frogs. So that was cool. So that was three dollars. While we are on flower frogs, I also got this flower frog and it says made in oh boy Japan. Made in Japan and it's old. It was from I there was one estate sale I went to and that's where this came from. So and here's the mark and it's just like made out of clay and unfortunately before I arrived it was in a vase but the person who bought the vase took this out <sighs> anyway um but I did get the flower frog and so I'll put that in my collection so now I'm up to three flower frogs 
yay for me. Then I also got these, because you know I do a little bit of coastal decor. I like them because of the boats and I love the color. I thought that was really pretty. They both, well, they're similar. They don't exactly match, but they're obviously from the same set. They have some crazing, I don't care. The mark on it is Yarmouth Haynes Wear. Eh. It looks like it should say incorporation, but it looks like no creation. I don't know what that word is. I'm not sure. Oh, decoration! <laughs> decoration. So, Yarmouth Haneswear decoration. And yeah, so I'm just gonna use these in my family room. Thought those were super pretty. Okay, so I had to move inside because it got too loud out there with the road work that is happening. So I got this and it's a very large frame. I don't even know if you can see it, but I am not gonna use it as it is. I got it because it was only 50 cents for something so big. And like the grow sign that I made, I don't know if you remember that, but this comes out really easily because it just has these little clips. So I can take it out and flip it over and paint on the back of this. So that was a really good find for 50 cents. I also got this basket and I, this was only a dollar and I already have a use in mind for it. I'm gonna use it for all of my craft ribbon, which is currently like in these plastic shoe boxes, more than one and it's a fight every time I need ribbon. So I'm gonna put it all in here and I really like the way it like closes. So, um, so it has these little rings. You can see inside, it probably was a picnic basket, but now it's broken. But when you wanna close it, you just link that and then you push this little, little thing through this eye I just thought that was really clever. So for a dollar, it's a really nice big basket. Okay, and then for outside, I got this little birdhouse. It's hand painted and it was only 50 cents. So that was really pretty. I will spray it to protect it. And I got this, which I'm gonna use this large clear bead for a craft that I'm working on. And then the rest, the ladies were saying, you can hang it in your garden. And I guess that's what they make these for. So just so you can have a little sparkle in your garden. So, so that was a dollar. I got these little brass puppies. I think these are so cute. They just give me such joy in my day. They kind of remind me of my puppies and uh, I love them. I'm gonna sit them by my fireplace. My husband is probably not gonna love it cause he's um, not as much a fan of dogs as I am, but he tolerates them. So, and they look like some kind of like poodle mix and mine are cockapoos. So maybe that's why they remind me of my dog. So those were $2 a piece. And the last thing made me think of one of the YouTubers that I love to watch. Her name, her channel name is Hanukkah Rose, although I think her name is Jessica. Maybe I'm getting that wrong. But anyway, in one of her videos, she found a vintage, no, it was a reproduction vintage scale. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, oh man. So if you're watching, I think this is the real deal. Um, I think this is a real vintage scale and I'm actually not gonna use it as a scale. I'm gonna clean it up a little and we're redoing our master bathroom and I'm gonna put in these new shelves with you know the pipes and I'm, I've been collecting things to put on those shelves for displays, kind of like bathroomy type of objects. And so this is gonna be one of them. And that was only a dollar. So I thought that was a, a great deal. I hope you've enjoyed looking at these objects. I've enjoyed showing them to you. I'm sorry about the change in venue and the noise outside, but you know, these are the things that happen. So if you like this kind of content, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. I post videos videos like this every Sunday in the summer and then also a Friday thrift finds every week and then other content sometimes. You can also always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Have a great day.